And if you're just joining us, here are the eight things you need to know today. A warning from state police. They are reminding drivers to clean off their cars. Plenty of drivers still have those sheets of ice and snow left over from this weekend's storm on their roofs. Police say that's a major hazard, and if it goes airborne, can cause accidents and smash windshields. A Lewiston woman is charged with arson, accused of lighting her own apartment on fire. Jackie Burney allegedly set a fire that caused minor damage at 168 Bartlett Street on New Year's Day. Police say she could also be charged for a second fire that later destroyed that building, leaving a dozen people homeless. A man accused of kidnapping, imprisoning, and raping a North Conway girl over nine months has waived two preliminary hearings. Nathaniel Kibbe, charged last month with more than 200 counts, waived arraignment, instead entering a not guilty plea. He'll be back in court next month. Well, newly released documents obtained by the AP show Governor Paula Page's administration spent nearly $53,000 on private lawyers last year in its failed attempt to remove young adults from the state's Medicaid program. The governor sought outside counsel after AG Janet Mills refused to represent the administration in the federal case. Continuing now, the eight things you need to know for this Tuesday. Back to work. Congress convenes today with some major issues on the to do list, including immigration, health care, and the Keystone Pipeline. For the first time in nearly a decade, Republicans control both houses. They say they want to work with the White House, but political analysts wonder how much compromise we will really see. Stocks taking a deep plunge Monday, the Dow losing 331 points, and overnight Asian markets down as well so far. Investors concerned over oil prices continuing to dip, which may be an indication of a weakening world economy. Right now, New York police are looking for the person who shot two officers late last night. The officers were responding to a robbery call at a store and were shot when they pulled over a car. Both expected to survive. This comes just days after two NYPD officers were laid to rest, both killed as they sat in their squad car. And finally this morning, the bitter cold gripping the entire nation. A number of states waking up to blustery Arctic temperatures expected to hold on all week, including right here in Maine, as we know, where we have not seen the worst of it yet. Have we, Mallory? We have not.